Scary Mysteries, Twisted Twos, Julie Wefflin, and Big Gray Man. Tales of hauntings, murder, and scary mysteries. Every week, Twisted Twos dives into a pair of uniquely terrifying true stories that are worthy of a more in-depth look. For this week, we focus on the abduction and mysterious disappearance of a Washington woman and the terrifying possible existence of a monster dubbed as the Big Gray Man. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted Twos. Number one, Julie Wefflin. Considered by family and friends as kind-hearted and strong-willed, Julie Wefflin was a young woman that suddenly vanished on September 16, 1987 in Spokane, Washington. She'd been working at Bonneville Power Administration, which required her to work on power substations often located in remote areas. On the day she disappeared, she received news that one of the transformers at the Spring Hill substation was running low on nitrogen. One of her co-workers told her to let it go for the day, but Julie insisted she still had time to fix the issue. So she headed to the substation and checked in there at 2.30 p.m. It was estimated she clocked out of the substation at 3.30 p.m., but she never went home and was never seen again. After she had gone missing, police traced back her steps and found various personal items belonging to her. They were discovered close to her truck, whose back hatch and driver's side door were left open. There was her hard hat, water bottle, tool box, and sunglasses on the ground. They also found her purse still inside the vehicle, ruling out robbery. Then there were signs that a struggle ensued. Drag marks were close to her truck. Also, a fresh set of tire tracks belonging to an unknown truck were also nearby. Even more, there was an indication that at least two people had grabbed Julie and taken her. Police turned to her husband and ex-husband as possible suspects. Her current husband was ruled out after it was confirmed he was 50 miles away from the crime scene painting a house. He had been actively involved in searching for her, even becoming obsessed with the case to a certain degree, but eventually he had to let her go. He overcame his grief and then remarried. Julie's ex-husband was also suspected by police, but was ruled out as well. Authorities had nothing else to go on and were searching for answers as to what happened to her, so the case eventually went cold, but decades later, a BPA engineer sparked interest in the case when he and several retired friends compiled a list of women who went missing close to Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho area from the 60s to 2011. They believed the women's disappearances had something to do with serial killers operating in the area during the time. Two serial killers suspected as having been involved with Julie were Robert Yates Jr. and Gary Ridgway. Robert Yates, dubbed as the Spokane Killer, claimed he had killed 20 women starting in 1975. The other possible serial killer was Gary Ridgway, who was believed to have killed 49 people between 1992 and 1998. For some time, people speculated Julie may have been a victim of a serial killer, but eventually this was ruled out. Today, many still ask what happened to the woman. Her disappearance has since been considered a homicide. The case of her abduction remains open and the BPA is offering a reward of $25,000 to anybody who will come forward with information leading to an arrest or resolution in the case. Julie is Caucasian with brown hair and eyes. She has a scar on her back with a metal rod implant in her spine. Anybody who has information on her case can contact the Spokane County Sheriff's Office. Number 2. Big Gray Man Sometimes called the Big Gray Man of Ben McDewey, or simply the Gray Man, the Big Gray Man is a mysterious creature or apparition that haunts the second highest mountain, the Ben McDewey, in the eastern highlands of Scotland. Stories of the Big Gray Man have been around since 1791, but it wasn't until a famous and respected scientist and mountaineer climbed Ben Mac Dewey in 1891 when the story of the mysterious creature became well known. Professor Norman Colley told members of the annual general meeting of the Carngorn Club in 1925 that when he was descending the mountain in 1891, he suddenly heard noises on the loose rock behind him. He said although he didn't see anything, he could hear a crunch after every few steps he took, 
like something was following him. He said it felt as if someone was walking right behind him, but feeling as if the thing was taking steps three to four times the length of his own. It was a strong and overwhelming feeling of being stalked. Another person, Dr. A.M. Kellis, also shared his and his brother's experience on the mountain. They said while standing close to the summit, they saw what looked like a giant figure heading towards them. After it momentarily disappeared and a dip in the rock, the two decided to run away and get off the mountain as fast as they could. Ever since the account was made public, other mountaineers and people who have been to the mountain have shared their own experiences. Another encounter with the big gray man was from a guy who spent the night camping on the mountain in 1940. While in his tent, he suddenly felt a morbid sense of uneasiness. When he woke up in the middle of the night with the moonlight shining outside, he could see a brownish figure standing between his tent and the moonlight. When it moved away, he found the courage to look outside from his tent and saw a large creature standing about 20 feet tall walking away. Another account by Wendy Wood narrated how she heard a voice, a gigantic resonance reminiscent of Gaelic. She tried to look around if anybody else was there but couldn't see anyone. Then the fear sank in and she decided to leave right away. She then heard footsteps as if someone was following her down. Curiously, in 1965, there were mysterious footprints found on the mountain measuring 14 inches with a long stride that measured about 5 feet. While the accounts of the big gray man are strange, they all have two things in common. It seems they're always accompanied by thick fog and a dreaded feeling felt by those who hear of the footsteps or unusual sounds. Some other sightings of the creature share that the entity seems to look like a huge gorilla with long talons. Many say the stories around Big Gray Man may not be real and that it's likely just a play on light or some sort of illusion playing tricks on the climbers. Others point to the sun as making unusual specters along the rocks and snowy landscape. But others insist there is an actual Bigfoot-like creature lurking somewhere on the mountain. Even though the habitat doesn't seem likely, many still insist that the Big Gray Man is real and living out there. So there were two of the most mysterious and strange stories around. The world can be a crazy place and Twisted Twos is sure to show you why. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe and check out some of the other videos we know you'll love. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.